son of a bitch. Anger management classes. I thought I actually had that bird. Who says? God dang it. I say the early season grouse woods are for the birds, but I wouldn't miss it for a thing, especially at North America's most unique camp, Pine Ridge, where hunting leads to singing the blues, and that is a good thing. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Pheasants Forever. For three hunting seasons, I've been grinding the miles on the truck. Canada, the Dakotas, Iowa, all over. Okay. Good God. Finally, a road trip close to home. How cool is this? We're still three weeks away from the pheasant opener in Minnesota. Last week we were dove hunting. Today we're headed to the grouse woods. Specifically, a camp called Pine Ridge. Look at this place. This is like a uh, Hollywood set. This is the old Havel family camp. A few years back they tweaked the place and opened for fall business. This camp and these people are an absolute trip. Trust me, you'll soon understand. I need a hug. Pine Ridge is a classic hunting camp where a love of good dogs and old guns, old guys and their fancy guns, rivals the passion for grouse and woodcock. About $115,000 worth of guns on the table. The Havels covet old Parker Brothers shotguns. Literally. His dad gave him his first Parker. He's given me my first Parker. And Jerry Havel gave his son a name too. You know, hey, wrestling coaches name their kids Matt. Who knows? I don't know. He was telling me, he's like, yeah, my shotgun of choice was a Parker. And I was like, what if your shotgun of choice was like a Winchester or something? Then what? <laughs> Today, the three of us hope to hunt one of Minnesota's single best woodcock covers. This almost feels dirty. <laughs> After eight and a half years, brand so new Filson chaps. My woodcock wrap. I am giddy for my first grouse hunt of the year. So was Jerry. Nobody likes that. He runs the whole camp operation and rarely gets time away to just hunt much less alongside his son, Parker. Maybe that's why Jerry's driving so fast. We're trying to keep up with him. Who cares? I'm thinking we are in the right spot. Check it out. Bird in the air or whatever, everybody pulling the trigger. Shoot to kill. Pine Ridge hunts a lot of interesting lakes. Find me a bird, find me a bird. But this might be the coolest. Not a lot of big population, a lot of state and county land. Every one of Jerry's covers are public land hunts. Every one. Do a little bushwhack. He and his guides have literally hundreds of cherry public spots. Hundreds of them. Oh yeah, I mean we've been around this area for so long, it's like we know them, we know them like the back of our hand. You're in the woods, you're looking for new covers, uh, driving, hunting, just getting in the car and going. To me, that's that's heaven. This is birdie stuff. This is one of Jerry's best, but NASA, we got a problem. The trials and tribulations of September. Indian summer smacks us. We've got 80 degrees and hot sun. Oh, and almost all the leaves still hang from the trees. I mean, come on, give me a break. You see this little white chalk on the ground there? That's woodcock excrement. We know we're in primo stuff. There's some water. There you go. But so far, no birds. We're just warming up, Parker. First spot was a bust. We're going to hit this one quick. 
because there's a lot more water here. We're hoping because it's kind of a warm day. Maybe the birds are sticking to the water. We'll see. Jerry is an old buddy of mine. He's kind of like the brother I never had. See, he's starting to stress, isn't he? What you notice when we're around each other, it's just hammering each other constantly. I, you know, very rarely do I not find birds. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm you not know. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. I'm... There's a big lake down there. I'm not gonna say which lake, cause I'd have to kill you. Early season for the, for the guys that love the woods. Watch him, he's real birdie. You gotta be hardcore and dedicated. Point Bill, right in front of me. Four. Hardcore we are, and this week, that will make all the difference. The Flush, brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Benelli. South Dakota Tourism and Visit Watertown. Minnesota's unseasonably hot fall woods absolutely kick our tails in a matter of 90 minutes. This heat is killing his sense of humor. At times like that, I just like to keep moving. Just keep moving and cover as much ground as possible and let the dogs do their job. You gotta have a good dog and you gotta have good boots. Even on a down year, you're still gonna find birds if you're willing to put the time in. Hunt with Jerry Habel, you leave the trail way behind. You know, I don't think the guys in the early 1900s when they bought their brand new Parker for $80, I don't think they were walking logging trails. They were busting brush. It's not just talk, Jerry's system works. Point, Bill. Yeah. Whoa, right in front of me. Move up, Bill. Boom, right there. Mark, Mark. I think, I don't think it went down, man. No, maybe. he didn't go down. You got a mark on it? Crying out loud, I was standing on top of him. Yeah, I was about 50 yards. I just threw lead. Cheapest part of this game. Suddenly, we're on a pile of birds. Bill, just kind of go to my right, just kind of walk in here. Seems our water theory, well, holds water. The birds are trying to hide in wet, cool areas. Get ready, Park. All right, come on now. Park! Girls, Park, did you get a good look at him? Yeah, I got a pretty good look at this tree as well. Girls, Billy! Got him. He's here in front of us. Shoot him. All of a sudden, Big Al is on point. Bird flushes. Grouse for Woodcock. You ready, boys? Mark! Huh. He was right there. And then all of a sudden, over here, another bird flushes. All right, right in front of you. Right in front of you. Mark. Suddenly, we're into the birds. I mean, we had points with uh, with the dogs that, where's Al, where's Al? I mean, he's three yards away and we can't even see him. It's gonna be right here. Bird! Bird down! Dead bird! Well done! We had him covered. Early season grouse and woodcock hunting is tough and we saw it. Hunt out, hunt dead, hunt dead. Right on top of it. Hunt dead, hunt dead, come on Al. Yeah, there he is. Oh my God, we never would have found that one. Good eyes, Park. There you go. <laughs> nice shot. All right, Park. Wonder twin followers activate, huh? And triples. That bird was not getting away. We found water and shade and found birds, even in hot weather. Better late than never. <laughs> nice job. Big Sexy did just fine. Good job, Big Al. <laughs> Jerry says Big Al is his key hunting tool. This is a rare dog, a five-year-old L. Hugh Hampshire Pointer, nicknamed Big Sexy. And Jerry says he's got a quirk. This dog only chases grouse and woodcock. He runs with a purpose and he runs in control. Woodcock, woodcock. You couldn't hear that one? And I tell you, there's going to be a woodcock here, Billy. 
Get ready. Right in front of us. Another one, Bill, Bill! Bird, Bill! Dead bird. It's right in front of me, Dad. Okay, go walk right to it. Dead bird. These guys are probably a late, late May or early June hatch. This turned into quite a hunt, Parker. Yeah, it's starting to get real exciting near the end. <laughs> I like it. Here, there it is. That was already falling, Park. I'm sorry, did I point that one for you guys? I'm hey, just asking. Friend. Make sure we give a dog biscuit to Bill. This hunt's been pretty good, and Parker has the hot hand, clearly. I just got lucky, just throwing. Throwing lead in the air is just the name of the game for me. In this hunt, in this moment, an awesome moment to watch father and son hunt together. You really, for, for a father, you really can't, uh, you can't describe it without probably tearing up a little bit. You know, it's kind of, I'll probably get emotional, but I mean, we, 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 my wife and I and our kids, we had a couple of rough years, a little, little health issue. like Oprah. <laughs> no, I mean, we had, we had some major, you know, I, I couldn't hunt for two, three years because of a uh, little cancer issue and, and uh... There were those few years when my dad was kind of ha having like the rough health issues and it's like I didn't get to spend this time with him. Now on the rebound, Parker and Jerry have made good on promises. We could have shot zero birds today, and I still would have had fun just walking through the woods. I mean, I just like hanging around with them. So, final flush totals, guys. 11 woodcock, four, four grouse, in about an hour and a half. That's rock solid. The Flush, brought to you by Purina Pro Plan. Carlson's Choke Tubes and Polaris. Man, I should own stock in Federal. Dead bird. Because we are burning through the shells. Mark, another one, Bill, Bill! Mark, Bill! Dead bird. I don't know what it is, but I love the grouse woods this time of year. And I love this camp. The food is phenomenal. You know, it's good, normal food. Just, it's just a good place to hang out and just everybody's relaxed and feeling good. And I like when people get excited about being here. It's just, ah, for this time of year, nothing trumps this camp. One big reason comes right after dinner. Who knew the camp cook also could be an acclaimed blues player? So come on over here, my dear. Baby, please. I put another log on the fire. And it's like a whole new layer to this experience. Like Kevin says, what's a blues singer from Iowa doing in northern Minnesota? <laughs> this. Sitting by the fire and, and just BSing and talking and singing and sharing stories. I mean, that's what, that's, what, that's what a good hunting camp should be about. I can't argue that. But we've got a big day tomorrow. We retire to the silence of Pine Ridge. The next morning, Rain, rain, go away. The only problem is it's cutting into our time. There's your weather radar. I see it. Coming up from the south, coming up from Iowa. We're on standby until the storm passes. The sun's now shining, so we're getting into the woods. All right, we're probably going to get Bill. I'm here. There we go. The old box truck is awesome. All right. Better pattern, let's get at her. Pull out of camp and ride in that loud, rough 
ride is just beautiful. We're headed to one of Jerry's all-time classic covers. <laughs> I hope we make it. Do we need to pop the hood? I think we got a little radiator issue working. I think our valve's out. That's not a radiator, is it? Nope. That's not a radiator. Looks like we're leaking some oil. See it? That's really boiling. If you take yourself too seriously here or anywhere, it's no, it's not fun. It's just it's not, not the way it should be. So the truck will have to wait. Well, we're at the point where we just have to try. Right. Oh, yeah. You see the temperature gauge? What would yours say? Pulse 80 degrees. Yeah, well, there you go. It's amazing to be in the grouse woods when it's this warm. Look at this. This is perfect cover here. Alders, food source. Grouse! What direction? Straight ahead, where we're headed. We're coming. Whoa! Mark! No! Son of a bitch! Can I say son of a bitch on TV? Like I tell people when they're when they're interviewing us, if you make a great shot, awesome. If you make a bad shot, somebody's gonna rib you a little bit, so uh, be prepared. That's split seconds. Throw the gun up, throw lead, like I told you, the cheapest part of this, this gig is the ammo. I had my gun, typical non-novice grouse hunter, kind of bird gets up from me to you away, boom. I just threw lead, but like I said, whatever. Didn't see. Huh? Grouse or woodcock? Grouse, we had two of them here. That's a grouse's way of saying, screw you, buddy. <laughs> feels good and bad. You know what? Time. It feels great. You know what? They're supposed to win, too, sometimes. And early in the season, they win more than we do. Four. Four? I had the two, and we reflushed that two, well, five. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you double flushed them. We're going to pop one up here coming out to this trail. Like the way you think. Boy, it has not gotten any cooler. I'm going to follow the dog. It's tough. It's sweaty. You've got sticks going down the back of your shirt, but that's part of the fun of grouse hunting. This bird hunt is about no. to get seriously out of control. Another one, Bill, Bill! Whoever said practice makes perfect never, ever hunted woodcock. Buried in the woods at Pine Ridge Grouse Camp, Jerry Havel there and I put on the miles. This is one of those hunts I won't ever forget. <laughs> and it's a darn shame. We're getting our butts handed to us a little bit. We've had heat and hard hunting. Today, things change. No, after that last grouse, I was low reloading that we uh, missed. I noticed I had a slight crack. And, uh, it's like we're jigs. Seriously, Jerry's got a broken stock, so we can't fire his gun. So now it's all on me. So you, all the pressure's on you. Come on out. It's right in here. Where? We get into this spot, and there are just woodcock all around us. Bah! Woodcock? Woodcock. Kill it? Nope. And it's not like I'm taking bad shots. It's just the birds aren't falling. Wait, wait, Bill. Over here, point. Point. We're right on top of the dog. I can't see him. I can't see him. Here he is, right to my left. Got it, Bill, Bill, Bill. I got it marked. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> no birds down. The ammo is the cheapest part, so I'll throw lead. What the heck? Yeah. Lot, you're throwing lots of lead, by the way. Thought I actually had that bird. All right, now I'm getting frustrated. Mark! Mark, let's go! Point straight ahead. I'll stay here. Hard point, too. Yep. See him? Yep. Mark! He's still flying. Jesus. I'm mowing through stuff trying to get him. It's all right. Pulling the trigger, buddy. Point. Where? 
up by me. But I wish I had my 12 gauge. Wish I had my 12 gauge. What a jerk. This is why we hunt. <laughs> Can I say son of a bitch on TV? I'm gonna have to rename this cover. Oh boy, here we go. Wish I had a 12 gauge cover. Because when we're old in a nursing home and Parker's guiding you and I in the, the kabuta off a trail, we can say, Parker, do you remember? Do you remember when Bill went 0 for 30? We gotta start killing birds for this dog. He's getting pissy. Can you blame him? Mark, Mark! Ah. It gets to the point where I hand him my gun and say, go ahead, you go for it, you try. Atta boy. Mark, Mark, Mark. I have no idea. Got up wild up here. But that said, yep. that bird might be hit. God dang it. For the record, coach, that was a flipping awesome barrage of birds. We had the four grouse early and 12 woodcock in the last half hour, 45. That's awfully good. Broken gun stock, life lesson on shooting fives. Got a pissed off dog that wants to taste some feathers. Because you're a good friend, I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, yeah, I'm shooting a brand new gun that I picked up this morning. It's a brand new Parker, so I'm not used to shooting it, but that's not an excuse. It's just bad luck. Right here. Where's he looking? Oh, he's looking to the right. Yeah, yeah. Bill, move up more. That bird down? Yeah, dead bird. Every day is a good day, and there's, there's no if and. It's just every day is a good day. But I don't care what you say, when you can see that many birds and pull the trigger, that's, to me, that's, that's heaven. That, in a nutshell, is Pine Ridge. There's a lot of bad in the world. There's a lot of problems. That, they're problems, and, and you can get away from them here. Good birds, great dogs, even greater friends. <laughs> good thing, too, because today, we need them.